The opportunity exists today for First Nations to realize a new vision for their communities and their future. A future where our nation is self-governed, with our rights and titles recognized that we have held for thousands of years in the Coast Salish area. A bright future where our nation is self-sufficient and our community can grow. We inherited our land from our ancestors. I'm fortunate to have in my work and in my fishing business to travel BC and travel in North America. I travel lots and I'm always so happy to come home. My opinion and my thought and my experience is that this is the best place in the world. We surely do consider it a paradise. It's just where home is. With 1,350 hectares of land at Vancouver Island's beautiful east coast and 18 kilometers of stunning waterfront, our land promises a lot of potential. We did not only inherit our land from our ancestors, but also a sense of who we are and where we come from. Through a visioning process, the Minas First Nation members identified what was important to them. Respect, honesty, culture and language, family and self-sufficiency. Also, teamwork, our youth, and communication. With our roots securely anchored in our traditions, we set sail towards an ideal future for Staminas First Nation, where these core values have been achieved. We respect the past, we live in the present, and we plan for the future. We're currently renegotiating access back to the lower Fraser River. Our ancestors used to all travel to the Fraser River every year to fish sockeye. We've been negotiating with the Department of Fisheries and Oceans um, access back to our traditional lands. Our traditional village over there is called Ticlinus and used to house all of our nations from Cowichan to Nanaimo. And once we gain access then we'll go back to fishing at our village site that was historically fished by our ancestors. The relationship between the Canadian government and First Nations has changed and Staminas is on the leading edge of this change. Through economic development and work currently being done in administration, Staminas First Nation is building a bright new future. In the last three years, we built 20 houses, the first new houses for our community in 10 years. We spent 800000 on renovations and another 200000 went towards renovating houses that had funds in their maintenance account. For the future, we envision all Staminas members to own a home on reserve. Families will live in beautiful, well-maintained houses with gardens for our children to play. So we really do need apartments and some for single people. Condos with courtyards, community rooms and gardens to create a sense of connection and make these homes a vibrant and interactive place to live. This is the kind of home that our elders deserve and where we can offer the assistance they need to grow older. Seniors home, that's one of the things I would like to see. As a community, it is our heartfelt wish to express respect to our elders. Our homes are surrounded by untouched nature. We feel deeply connected to the ocean, the trees that grow on our land, the air we breathe, and the sun that shines today. The ocean means everything to me. I'm a fisherman. We've always been fishermen. We live by the sea. It's a way of life that means so much to us. The thing with the ocean is much of it is your food supply. All of us that are close to the ocean, we made use of what is in the ocean. Inspired by our ancestors who went through countless generations without leaving a footprint, we build sustainably using green building materials, sustainable energy like solar and rainwater collection systems. Water is the most life-sustaining gift on Mother Earth. We're culturally connected to the water. It's one of the most powerful things that we have for our culture. 
community to me means that it's strength. It's a, it's, it's a safe place. It's a place where our members in our community can thrive and be, be healthy and making sure our children have opportunities for the future. Follow a trail from your house through the lush green and beautiful rainforest to get to our community centre, a place where we celebrate our culture and our dance, singing, arts and crafts. All of our members in our nation, whether they are young or old, have a role in our community. Our elders are at the stage of great wisdom in their life. They keep our stories alive and it's their responsibility to pass these stories and proud history on to our children. Our elders are our teachers. They're basically there to help us grow. The Community Centre forms a part of our community hub in Thakmin. Together we created a land use plan for Thakmin. The Community Hub will serve as a central gathering location for all of our schools, including our new middle school, our community centre, our health and elder centre, Natsumat Child Care Centre, and recreational facilities like playgrounds and soccer fields, maybe a pool. Some things that we need is a bus to be transporting. Our soccer fields better maintained. We have a lot of soccer teams coming out of the community. A bigger fitness room would be great. The land use plan also suggests a marina that invites visitors to anchor at our beautiful waterfront. We can build a community the way we like it. With our own hands! Our buildings in the future use mainly timber sustainably harvested from our own woodlots. They become unique through the signage and our whole community language, an expression of our community's pride and our traditions. We come together for community dinners to celebrate with healthy, wholesome meals from fish and vegetables that we harvest from our lands and our oceans, just as our ancestors relied on the abundance of the Salish Sea. We rely on the resources. In the future, we hope to be sustainably managing our resources for the benefit of generations. We look forward like not just one generation, we're looking forward like seven generations from now. We're looking at our grandchildren. Our community gardens are a beautiful place to put our hands in the soil, work together and connect with our land. We believe that by only taking what we need and looking after our land well, Mother Earth will always provide for us. As a matter of course, our community will have clean water, reliable sewer system, trails and well-maintained roads with street lights a safe place to live. Stamatis Public Works takes care of sewer and water operations and uh, takes care of the roads, solid waste or trash pickup and recycling pickup. MAC is our level one certified water and sewer operator. We started our new road project, $1.7 million road project. In 2016, we put a road rehabilitation plan together, bring up all the roads to uh, a, you know, a good condition again. I'm making sure that we provide safe, potable water for our community. I want to make sure we take care of our youths and our elders. They're the main concerns of our community. At this stage now where we can't, we can't build too much more because we don't have enough water to build more houses for our community. And we're trying to get funding to bring water from the Cassidy Aquifer, which will give us basically an unlimited supply for our future needs. My future goal is that we could expand our reserve and provide more efficient water for everybody. Trying to get a street lighting project to put into the community and a pedestrian pathway project. Parks with trails encourage walks and cycling. At an early age, our youth will start canoeing or engage in other sports. They learn to tune in with the ocean. They develop a sense of responsibility for others and themselves. They gain confidence. Communication is a big part of community yeah. like On time, the person in front of you working as a team, so we'll move better. Chimenas have always regarded canoeing as a very important way of life for us. When you're on the canoe on the ocean, you're learning so much how to read the moon and the stars. You learn to read the tides. You know what's around the next point. It helps you and when you're traveling. It helps you when you're gathering your food. It's a very important part of the cultural way of our people. Stamenis Reserve is a healthy place. Not only do our members live long lives, 
They live very healthy and happy ones too. They are an inspiration for our children. Our health center is dedicated to looking after the physical, the mental, spiritual needs of the Saminas members, making sure that our elders, our babies, our moms, have all the services they need right here on our land. They are treated with the respect they deserve. What we'd like to see happen in the future is um, have a birthing center here so our people don't have to leave the community. We're also working on, we're bridging partnerships with the local communities. So um, we're also working with Child Youth Mental Health because we're recognizing that that's a big issue within the community. Culture is important to the Staminas people here. So we're wanting to be able to provide a service that is gonna support the community clinically as well as culturally. We'd like to see a traditional medicine garden here and be able to utilize those medicines. It's the goal of the community to be able to provide all our health services here within the nation at the health center. At an early age, the meanest children learn our traditional values like respect, honesty, family, and teamwork in their lives and grow up with the feeling that they can do anything, that nothing is impossible. Our children connect to our ancestors by learning our Halkaminam language. This builds our identity and shapes who we are. My uncles and my aunties all spoke Halkaminam when I was growing up. And that's my vision is to live in that atmosphere, bringing back our Halkaminam. That's my vision for our children. We need to have an immersion program. Our children need to be learning language to speak our language and communicate in our language. Kwam kwam tan shkwalawan. Halkamitnam shkwal. Nano khachat tatash shkwal. We want to speak it. We need to be proud. Our language is sacred. Nano khachat tatash shkwal. In the future, what I would love to see at Staminas Community School is, is more immersion. One of the biggest struggles when learning the language is our everyday conversation. Uh, we'll try to bring the language when they're playing soccer. We'll try to bring the language into the kitchen and do some baking and make it fun. You know, one of our goals is to ensure that language is delivered in every classroom. It makes our community and our schools unique is because we're bringing back that culture, that language. Our schools prepare our children to be future leaders of our nation. We have 168 students that reside on Stabanis First Nation Reserve that are attending our Stabanis Primary School, um, Stabanis Community School, Stabanis Secondary School. Every child gets the support that they need when they enter into our system. Our vision for Stabanis First Nation education um, is to ensure that we provide quality education. Every student will have will be graduating with the highest academic, moving forward with employment, or entering into a, a program of their choice at a college or university. And I think that's what makes our schools unique, is that we work one-on-one -on -one if we need to with the students. Currently, we're in the process of do, working on a feasibility study. We really need our own middle school. Education on our reserve is not only for children, but for all members. Offering um, post-secondary on reserve is one of our visions and our goals, and it would really help our students um, to achieve the success that they're looking for. The connection to the land and our family and our friends gives us strength, confidence, and curiosity that makes learning easy. At trade schools, colleges, and universities on reserve, we become entrepreneurs, skilled tradespeople, doctors, teachers, nurses, and more. We want to grow our community with our own people. Entrepreneurship and economic development are the key to our success. Economic development for Saminas is, uh, I think, is one of the, uh, the key things to moving our nation in a direction of self-sufficiency around um, giving opportunity to our community to do things that we haven't had the opportunity to do before. Create more revenue would uh, put uh, funds into like housing, capital projects, uh, education, uh, health. I think that's the reason why we're trying to uh, create an up a more self-sufficient nation that we're trying to build our community to be a healthier community by um, economic development and that's our, our goal. 
Our economic development success builds on partnerships. Partnerships uh, have been everything for us. Partnerships in um, any uh, First Nation community is very important. You have to build relationships if you want to move forward. A project that's gotten a lot of attention in terms of partnerships uh, regarding the community has been Oyster Bay. Uh, we spent five years planning Oyster Bay and a um, significant partnership for us has been with Tim Hortons. Uh, we entered into a revenue sharing agreement with them recently and in the next week essentially we're going to open and I know that the community and everyone's excited about that and, and as, as am I. We started a very significant partnership with a company called Master Built Hotels of Calgary. Uh, we'll be building an 81 room hotel project uh, that will be completed and open by May 1st next year. Working here is, um, it's like a community, almost a family. I'm more comfortable here than I am at other places. I feel more at home. We encourage more win-win partnerships. Partnerships that are built on mutual respect, honesty and economic success. We envision our community to vibrate with excitement and entrepreneurship. There is so much potential. Our children may grow up to become construction contractors, green energy consultants, or carpenters. They may have a forestry business, become a doctor, a nurse, a yacht designer. They may work in the offices of our education or our health system, or they may follow in the ancestors' footsteps and create traditional art exhibited in their own art gallery. Forestry management and aquaculture ventures like gooey duck diving or fishing directly cater to our nation's strength. I see myself being a nurse or a doctor because we need more First Nation people out in the hospital. And I would want to be like a PE teacher because I like playing different things and like learning new things. Part of our strategy in developing all of these partnerships is employment. Just on the partnerships that we've currently achieved, we'll be in a position where we're going to create somewhere between 200 and 400 jobs over the next five years. It's about the community being healthy, being strong, and having opportunities. That's what is very important just to me. We seek inspiration by looking at our past. Our ancestors always had to meet challenges and adapt to different circumstances. They lived in a self-sufficient community and had strong values and traditions. When things became difficult, they rolled up their sleeves and did something for those that would live long after them. For us, that is how our culture developed and our nation grew strong. They lived good lives and they gave something to the future. Let us do the same for our children by working together towards becoming a self-sufficient and self-governed nation again. We can live our lives based on the same culture, tradition and values our ancestors have taught us. This is the only way to live for our community. A life filled with sustainability, health, pride and well-being for all of our members. The future is bright here at Skamanis First Nation.